New at 10, help is on the way for an Owasso family who says that they're living on top of a leaking natural gas well. This is a story that Fox 23 has been following for more than a year now. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live in Owasso with what comes next for this entire neighborhood out there, Rick. Brittany, I stood in this yard almost one year ago today, and I got to tell you, not much has changed. You can see the front yard is still very torn up. Neighbors tell me that even though they are happy that help is on the way, they are still on the edge. The gas continues to leak. Before we had a nervous breakdown and just gave up and, you know. And the Murphy family continues to live in fear. We can't, we can't pay a mortgage and the utilities here and afford to rent somewhere else. As Fox 23 has reported, natural gas has been seeping up through the cracks in their sidewalk and driveway, causing a significant safety hazard. Neighbors nearby have had their gas meters removed. Some neighbors are ready to join a class action lawsuit with the Murphys. Others told the couple they are trying to get out altogether. It's not just about us. We're worried about everyone. You know, what the community wants them to do with the funding. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission sent this letter to the Murphys and Fox 23. It explains how state law will be changing in July and the commission will have access to more money to address the issue. Next month, the OCC will send employees back out to measure the leak and come up with a plan. The Murphys tell me waiting for the legislative process to take its course over the past 12 months has been long and they are ready to move on. But they fear what the answers to their questions could also mean for their friends and and neighbors. Guys, they get down and dig as much as it was bubbling underneath our yard. I mean, I bet it goes miles. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission tells me that the Murphys and a couple from Ponca City who is experiencing the exact same thing are their top two families on the list to have their concerns addressed immediately once that new funding kicks in. Reporting live in Owasso, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. Local home builders responding tonight to concerns about natural gas bubbling up from the ground in an Owasso neighborhood. Fox 23 has investigated this problem for months. New at 9, Fox 23's Rick Marinon is reporting live for us after learning the builder is just as eager as the homeowners for the state to step in and fix the problem, Rick. And the developer tells me he's been following the Murphy family's quest for answers for months now with us. And he says once he was done developing the house, he had no gas leaks or no gas seeping up from the house when he sold the home to its original owners. There is a well that's been capped. In fact, we recapped it. Greg Simmons and his company built two thirds of the homes in the Lake Valley neighborhood. Four of those homes are now dealing with a persistent gas leak. But he tells me when he finished construction around 2008, there were no gas issues until a few years later. There wasn't a problem when this was developed or when it was built. We don't know that it's well. We don't know that it's not coming from somewhere else. Um, we just don't have that answer. The developer tells me before there were any homes built in this neighborhood, they knew there was a well underneath, and that's when they decided to cap it before they built any of these homes. None of these houses are built on top of wells, but through movement of the earth and so forth, you know, gas can, it, it can re, you know, find a way to seep out. Simmons says he understands the family's predicament and believes the cap on the well his company installed may have broken off in an earthquake. An undocumented well may be leaking or the families are living on top of a gas pocket. We do all the testing and do all the things that, that we know of um, and to, to assure ourselves that you know, we don't have this problem, but they do, they do come from time to time. Homeowner Max Murphy says he can light his driveway on fire and that his kids have been sick after breathing the fumes. He is ready for some answers. When they said it was biological breakdown, I didn't buy it. And I still don't buy it. I mean, the purge is too strong, the way it bubbles, and it, it's, got, it's got to be thermogenic. As we've previously reported, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission will be back at the Murphy's house on July 1st to begin analyzing what is the cause of this gas leak. I'm told that in addition to the Murphy, Simmons is also very interested as to what is causing this gas seepage. Reporting live, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. But at least another full month to wait. All right, Rick. State officials think they have discovered the source of a dangerous natural gas leak. We've told you about it. It's plagued a neighborhood near 106th and 145th East Avenue in Owasso for some two years. Fox 23's Rick Marinon reporting live for us with what they've found now, Rick. 
and we've been with this family for more than 13 months and we've watched as they thought the gas leak was right there where you see that net fencing. However, today we learned that the gas actually came over and seeped over into their land from this house right here. Bubbling up from this hole in Owasso is believed to be the answer to so many questions. Tuesday, Oklahoma Corporation Commission gas inspectors believe they found an undocumented and uncapped gas well from the early 1900s that has been causing health and living issues for at least four families in the Lake Valley neighborhood. It should be gone in the next two weeks if, if we can get the well plugged. Supervisor Bob Scott tells me he's seen this problem before and it will likely happen again to another Oklahoma family because of our state's rich oil drilling history. They should be able to get their gas back because we can tell Oklahoma Natural that we have found the source and plugged it. The Corporation Commission originally told me they would have to wait until July to look for the source when the state gives them more money. <sighs> but that's not the case now that an active well has been discovered. I wasn't aware of it, uh, but I'm really concerned about it. Some neighbors have regretted buying their homes nearby. I wish I hadn't moved here. For Casey Murphy, whose family has been at the center of the leak, she is relieved a solution has been found, but she says she'll believe it's over when the bubbles are all gone. I'm just, I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I just want it to be taken care of and I want to be able to live in a home with no worries of blowing up or depleting our oxygen. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission tells me they were going to start excavating in the back of this house today. However, as you can see on my glasses, there is light rain falling. And as you've heard, Tropical Storm Bill is on its way. They were worried that if they started to dig, the well that is underground would end up underwater. So they're going to hold off for a few days. Reporting live in Owasso, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. New at 9, some Owasso families will have to wait even longer for the state to fix a methane gas leak. Fox 23's reported that it's been plaguing the Lake Valley neighborhood for two years. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live now with what's next. And the methane gas will continue to leak in the Lake Valley neighborhood at least for a few more weeks. But I'm told that one device they stuck in one of the backyards of the homes could actually be a solution for other homes in the future. Devastated. I don't know what we're going to do next. Another orange fence at another Owasso house. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission tells me they came up short Monday and were unable to find a methane gas well that has been leaking for two years. Last week, Fox 23 showed you where bubbles had started to rapidly appear in the backyard of one of the four impacted homes. Corporation Commission workers told me the bubbles were a telltale sign that an undocumented and uncapped well was leaking underground. We haven't let them out in the backyard, not one time. Casey Murphy lives over the leak with her husband and two kids. I haven't seen kids in their backyards, and usually, I mean, it's summer, everyone's jumping on the trampoline, playing in the sprinkler, going to the pool. Um, and I haven't seen a whole lot of kids in their backyard. Since the new bubbles appeared last week next door, the family has complained of their eyes burning and a rancid smell coming from the newest hole. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission told me Monday that over the next few weeks, the gas will be ventilated away from the ground with a temporary pipe system. They will study the success of the ventilation system to see if a more permanent one should be put in place. Murphy tells me more exposure to the gas isn't going to help her family, and she would like to see the OCC do whatever it takes to find a well and cap it. We're going to wait it out, I guess, until July 1st and see what their next step is, is going to be. The Corporation Commission tells me tonight that it looks like they're going uh, right back to square one and waiting until July when new funding kicks in to start up another search for the source of the leak. Reporting live in Rogers County, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. Only on Fox 23, an Owasso family says they are about to abandon their dream home. For more than a year, we've been telling you about the methane seeping out of the ground near 106th and 145th. Now the state says it isn't sure if it will stop. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live in Owasso with the reason the family says they're finally ready to give up. And the family says despite all of the digging that has taken place, this is their front yard right here, they have hoped that the state would find and cap this well already. However, the state tells me they are no longer going to be looking for the well. Instead, they are going to try to mitigate its negative effects. That ain't worth it anymore. You know, give up, I guess. I mean, what other option do we have? Max Murphy is trying to keep the faith just a little longer. His family believes they are on the losing end of a battle with a constantly leaking gas well. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission sent the Murphys legal papers this week, asking them for permission to install a mitigation system to help vent the gas out of the ground. 
An OCC spokesman tells me it's not financially feasible anymore for the commission to excavate the yards because there is no guarantee they will actually find the leaking well itself. Now they are moving towards mitigating the problem for good. That's not what Max Murphy's family was hoping for. They, they give you hope and then they rip it away. Give you hope, rip it away. We thought, they said two weeks to have, it, have, the, have the source of the gas located and plugged. I understand. That's not I understand. The Murphy's next door neighbor allowed the Murphy's and Fox 23 into his backyard to help document the story. When we went to check on the temporary mitigation system in his backyard, wow. Max and I found that the commission had padlocked the gate. So we looked over the fence and found that it had been modified since our previous story. Max tells me he and his family don't want a venting chimney, and according to the legal paperwork, they would also be responsible financially for its maintenance. Max says the family may go into foreclosure so they can attempt a fresh start elsewhere. Do I face future adverse health effects on my kids fighting this, or do I throw in the towel and know that at least I have my kids, my children's health and our health? Before the family totally gives up on their house, I'm told they will stick around to see what specific mitigation system will be put in place. I've asked the Corporation Commission what could be in their backyard, and they tell me that will be up to the contractor that will be assigned to their house once Governor Fallon signs an emergency order allowing them to seek out a contractor. Reporting live in Owasso, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. I just feel bad for that family. Only on Fox 23 tonight, the mayor of Owasso is asking state officials to meet with neighbors dealing with a gas leak for nearly two years. Fox 23's Rick Marinon has been following this issue for you for more than a year now. He's live in the Lake Valley neighborhood with the reason the mayor wants answers. And Shay, Jerry Moberly is more than the Owasso mayor. She actually lives a few blocks away from these houses that continue to experience this methane gas problem. She tells me personally and professionally, she'd like to get some answers on how to put this thing to an end once and for all. I don't think there's a lot of fear. There is concern and concern that this be handled in the best way possible. Owasso Mayor Jerry Moberly tells me before the state fixes the methane gas problem underneath four homes, residents should be confident in what is being put in near their houses. I think knowledge um, creates a feeling of knowing what's going on. And I think our residents do deserve that. They deserve to have their questions answered directly. Methane gas continues to seep up from the ground. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission says after multiple digs, the incident is not being classified as a leaking well, but as methane gas seepage from an unknown source. The OCC now wants to mitigate and vent the gas as a permanent fix. I would like to see more holes drilled, more exploration done to see if there possibly is a well in there that we need to cap. I showed you back in July, families living over the gas received paperwork from the commission, wanting permission to conduct studies on the seepage and install a permanent mitigation system. Neighbors didn't like the wording and refused to sign it. The commission will now request that they only be allowed to do research in the backyards. Moberly says before anything is installed, neighbors should be confident in what the state is proposing. If that is our only choice, I would just like to know why, and I think the other neighbors would too. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission says they would be more than happy to have a town hall meeting about the final solution for this. However, since they haven't been given permission to go into the yards of these homes and find that possible solution, they don't really have anything to present to residents right now. I am told that the residents who live in the four houses behind me, they will receive a request from the commission to uh, re do research in the backyards over the next few weeks. And if they sign that, then the research can begin. Reporting live in Owasso, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News. A local family says they plan to leave their home starting in 2016. This after dealing with a gas bubbling up from the ground for more than a year and a half. Fox 23's Rick Marinon has been following that Owasso family's story and has what the family says is the last straw. State officials have offered the family a mitigation system to try to ease off some of the effects of the gas seepage they've been experiencing for almost two years now. However, the family tells me they don't want a Band-Aid, they want a solution. The gas bubbling underneath four homes in the Lake Valley neighborhood continues, but one family says in 2016 they will not be. The Murphy family tells me in text messages they've had enough and they've started the foreclosure process. They told me, quote, we are going to walk out on the house. They are never going to find a solution to the gas problem. They went on to say they can't take the stress and challenges anymore and are ready to go on living their lives. In July, the family considered letting the bank take their house. 
but they were waiting for a possible solution from the state. They said two weeks to have it have the, have the source of the gas located and plugged. I understand. That's what I understand. I've been with the Murphy family for a year and a half of their two-year struggle as state officials searched unsuccessfully for the cause of the gas seepage that has caused the family to live without some utilities, fear the gas which has proven to be flammable could ignite, and as the gas killed plants and damaged the foundation of their home and property values. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission tells me they've offered to put in a mitigation system to hopefully ease the ground pressure. But only one of the four families experiencing the leak agreed to that. The OCC tells me they too are at a standstill and believe the large pocket of methane has broken loose from the bedrock and will continue to seep up until there's none left. But no one knows when that will happen. There is some good news out of all of this. The Murphy family will be able to reuse the first time home buyer program that they used to help buy their Owasso house two years ago. The program told them they understand that their circumstances are extreme and they'll be more than happy to let them try again. Covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.